Welcome back my friends. Well it's that time again, my first uh, potato reveal, Pentland Javelin, 80 days. So let's uh, get uh, this one out here. It hasn't had any uh, water last night so hopefully it won't be too wet. But there again, we'll see whether I've been watering enough. This is a good test. So let's get it out and see what we get. Now I'm hoping to replant this again. Uh, I've been watching homegrown veg and he was going to reuse the potato compost for his leeks but I want to replant them so I can double what I get hopefully like we did uh, a season or two ago so we'll have a little look and see uh, how they've uh, done in the first 80 days so whether they'll come out of the bag or not I don't know without too much damage but where it's been leaning up the other bag the roots have come through where it's been open to the air they uh, looks like they may have died back lots of worms in the wood chips This is my homemade compost and it's really quite heavy. It's uh, quite a small one there. I'm going to leave that one. Isn't it nice when the skins just peel off and you know you've got to uh, Leave those attached. One there. Anything about the ones that have fell off. Just, uh, now we're not stone, don't hurt your teeth on them. We're not a, a lover of the small, uh, large potatoes. So we always do enjoy the small ones. Into pounds. I'm not really bothered what I get. One point three one. So that will do us. Now, last time I did this by repotting that back in the pot, we actually got the same again. So I'm going to get on with that. Just make sure you can see. Seed potato right at the bottom. Tuck the right back inside. All the 
small potatoes that I've left attached to the roots. We'll continue growing. Now, this isn't anything new. Allotment Diary has done this in the past. Also with great success. Pinching some of the compost that I've got off the side of the road just to support those leaves. Managed to find the time to break those up. They're not stopping there, stop it up there. Staying up quite well. We'll be enjoying those for our uh, tea on Sunday, Sunday lunch, and uh, get up to a bad potato. So uh, I've enjoyed uh, these in the past. I had rocket last year. I tend to try and change each year, but I will eventually find uh, one that I do really uh, like. So let's go and have a look at the small potato challenge this is a normal sized potato and there's the really really and I mean really small seed potato so you can see the difference it hasn't really uh, got to that in actual fact this is probably the best potato uh, on the plot but there's only one seed in there where I think there's either two or four in those, probably two. And only about 12 seeds, so six buckets, yeah, two in each. I'll have to check back. So they're massive comparison, but at the end of the season we'll see what, uh, what difference it makes. But it's just uh, an interesting experiment. And a good comparison same compost same feeds to see uh, what we get and then we move on to hashtag potato in a bucket of stones now I was only expecting this one to come up but just this side there's another one and over here there's a more healthy looking one what you'd expect I don't want to move the stones about too much. In actual fact, no, there's nothing there. But now that's uh, pushing its way through. So once it reaches the surface, it'll get more energy from the sun. And I'm just pleased that it's actually poked through. And it's just amazing how those stems push the way way through. The s solidness of all those. Uh, stones in this bucket and they think the bucket must be about a 30 litre bucket and this having at the bottom is working well all the juices are actually stopping in the bottom as it dry out it the roots suck all the goodness back up again so it's not running off into the ground great way of collecting uh, the uh, the nutrients that uh, soak through my uh, home main compost but like I say, there's nothing in that other than a few wood chips at the bottom holding the bucket straight. Here's the Marfonia. I've tried to keep them separate just in case we get blight. There's two more containers of Marfonia. And then we go on to, this is the purple variety that I found on this allotment. And this is the white kidney shape variety that I found on this allotment so they're all uh, doing really well now and as you can see in the bottom again the nutrients being sucked back up this will be its new home and I'll just slowly work my way around here as I uh, 
harvest the potatoes. Homegrown veg does uh, a, a really good idea which some people have took on is having a solid uh, container pot with a bag inside and you just pull the bag out, slide the bag down, pick the potatoes and put the bag straight back in the pot again which is very similar to what I've done but I can't do that. I need the bigger container but in the future I might be able to sort something and find something. So the main reason for having a look at 80 days is to see whether it's watered well, which it is, see how they're doing, see if they need any more feed. All they're getting is my uh, magic liquid mix. They've already had my homemade compost mix. Thanks for watching guys, commenting, subscribing, loving the comments. And don't forget if you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you like what you see. Happy gardening to you all, till next time, to Ralph and Air.